Hello there, my name's Chris and I'm here from Takanini Sangyong and LDV. Today I have the great privilege of showcasing this 2017 Toyota Hilux TD DC 2.8 litre diesel manual vehicle. Now that wasn't that a mouthful. I'm going to break it down for you as we walk around so that uh, some of that information might actually stick. Now, first things first, we have a nice uh, side step there, making entry into this vehicle a breeze. Very, very tiny alloy rims for each of the wheels. Sharp looking headlights with LED daylights, as well as fog lights below. A nudge bar at the front. The body is in fantastic condition. I can't see any noticeable dings or scratches. At the back we've got some matching roll bars there or sports bars that consist with the, the front nudge bar. Now in the rear here, there is a little bit of wear and tear here to the tray. Nothing that affects the performance of the vehicle whatsoever. Well, it comes down like so, and we have the tray there. A couple of fact, fun facts about this vehicle. It has roughly 122,000 kilometers on the clock. There's a manual transmission, diesel engine, and has 2.8 liters capacity. Below our number plate here, the vehicle comes equipped with a tow bar. Handy and almost essential for any truck owner. You wouldn't have a truck these days without being able to tow a trailer or a caravan or whatever really floats your boat. So maybe even a boat. Okay, now let's go see what's going on with this vehicle on the inside, eh? Starting with the back. Okay, as we see here, very tidy interior. Plenty of leg room there. Nice decent sized rear seat pockets a little little hook there for um, hanging clothes or a bag perhaps is on both sides anchor points there as indicated by this little symbol for our child restraints or child seats seat uh, driver sorry door side pockets as well for storing water bottles and bits and bobs Okay, this is a five-seater vehicle, and as you would expect, there's a metal seat belt there, but also a metal headrest, so no one's getting uncomfortable on their journey. Everybody is going to be enjoying the drive. The, um, the center, <laughs> center shelf folds out here like so, and there's a couple of cup holders there as well for our rear passengers. So no one's complaining about where to put their drinks either. No one's fighting over what's going on. Everyone's being accommodated. Now, this is a keyless entry as well. Nice handy feature there, you carry your groceries, you press a button, boom, you're in the car. So providing you have the key, of course, you'd hope you would have it. Again, door side pockets on the driver's door here next to the speaker. And above that are the window controls. Woohoo, we're going to, all the four are automatic. So you're not sitting there pressing the button, you're pressing it once and that window's going down for you. Here is the door locks there as well. Window disable, someone's playing with the windows or you just don't want them going down, you press this button, that's not happening. Window electronic retraction of the side wing mirrors, and you can adjust them left or right as well. Okay, fully reclinable and adjustable chairs, manual adjustment. Moving into the vehicle now, we have a very polished dash. Stands out nice and sharp looking. Okay. Steering wheel, if I can just zoom us out a bit. No, that's not happening, not a problem. I will just lean back. As you can see here, all the buttons, bells and whistles at your fingertips there to navigate your infotainment system here on the right. Should adjust the camera so you can see what I'm pointing at. And on the left, we have volume adjustment as well and things like that, okay? Below our steering wheel here is our cruise control. So you're not having to worry about how quick you go and you're not worrying about the speed limits because you've set your cruise control to match that all right, those longer journeys just became a bit shorter. Okay, now let's turn her on and see what's going on. Hey, look at that, she's away. Okay, so 
This way to Hilux. Oh, radio's saying hello to us. I'm just going to turn that down for us. Okay, sorry. We are now muted. Okay, so the sun is not being our friend right now, but as you can see there, there is an onboard computer there in the middle, and we can adjust that using these buttons on the steering wheel so we can see which radio station we're tuning into. We can see if there's any notifications, our compass direction, as well as information about the, the vehicle in terms of driving range or fuel capacity and things like that. Plenty of information there should you need it. The um, speedometer and odometer and <laughs> rev count looking nice and sophisticated here in a, a sharp color of blue. Okay, awesome. Now let's move across here to the middle. Okay, clock there as well as the ability to adjust the vents. Below that we have a massive touch screen here with all the features you could shake a stick at. With that, yeah. So as we can see here we've got navigation, audio, Bluetooth connection, telephone, eco mode setup, etc. Okay, if we go into home, that's just a general kind of home screen telling us, us if the phone is connected and some information that will assist us in our drive. Below that here, air conditioning, now it's warm because we're in winter don't want to be getting too cold though if I wanted to I could just turn the fan down or turn the, the temperature down to meet my requirements goes very low there in terms of air conditioning temperature okay now below that we have the 12 volt charging point a USB as well for connecting our phones or auxiliary as well as the saving traction control and there is a second 12 volt charger so everyone's going to be charging those appliances, everyone's going to be connected, no one's giving you a hard time, making you want to take them home. There's also a couple of extra points here on the left hand side, it looks like they're charging points specifically there with the amp readings. Manual transmission, so we've got a manual gear stick, okay, very straightforward. For anyone who knows how to drive manual, you're not going to struggle with the clutch, you're not going to struggle getting into gear, you're just going to be hitting the road and you're going to be thankful that you bought this vehicle because it's so easy to use. All right, in the middle here, a couple of fun buttons here, power mode, so let's go a bit quicker. Eco mode, why don't we save some gas? IMT, that's intelligent manual transmission, okay? So that's a fun feature that this vehicle provides. Below that, cup holders, and what looks to be a little compartment there, or maybe for a square juice box, depending on what kind of beverage is your beverage of choice. Moving. On now we have our center console. Now in here there is a 100 watt or AC 220 volt charging point. If I get the camera in there you can see what's going on. You can actually plug a normal plug in there. You don't even need the adapter. Crazy. Okay, hopefully that didn't sound too sarcastic because I genuinely meant that. That is an awesome feature to have. Okay, generous size glove compartment and a second compartment there above it. So if you're wanting to hide something and pretending you're James Bond, put it in the top one, cover the button, and before you know it, no one's knowing what you've got in there. I mean, I'm not looking at anyone who smokes, but if you had to hide them, that would be a good starting point. Okay. So that is pretty much the inside of this vehicle. I could go on and on about its features. I mean, we're talking these little glasses compartment there, you know, never losing your sunnies, and you've got the you know, interior lights coming out the wazoo, but hey, I think I'll leave that to you when you come in for your test drive because you're looking forward to it, I can see it already, you're about to pick up your phone and call me, and you're doing so because the price is very very low at $37,990. Now my name's Chris and if you want to get your hands on this vehicle, the best way to do that is get in touch with me, my contact number is 0274 308 418 and I'll be happy to tee you up for a test drive. Alternatively, if you're not in Auckland and you're going, hey, why can't I see this vehicle too? It's not fair. I don't want to come all that way. Don't, don't worry about that. I'd be happy to help you out. Give us a call and we'll arrange for the vehicle to come to you. doesn't matter where you are in the country. I'll make it happen. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I've appreciated it. I look forward to seeing you on our yard or um, hearing you on the phone. My name's Chris again. Thank you. Thank you and goodbye.